Hey everybody, Dan Tomaszewski with Everything MSP here. Hope you are all doing good. And I have a special guest here. Hi everyone, Billy Perro, Channel Development Manager with ID Agent. That is awesome. How are you doing today, Amelia? Uh, honestly, it's the end of my day. So, um, you know, getting ready to wrap up for the evening. Um, and yeah. But it's been a good day. Uh, it's been busy. Lots going on, right? Lots going on. Yeah. Lots going on. Um, I mean, we're we're getting into uh, into the fall season, and uh, you know, businesses are. It's just like they they're coming back from summer, and they're ready to jump back into their business and do some new things, and uh, that's exciting for us as MSPs. Yeah. So I'm I'm really looking forward to um, forward to that, and then they're also planning ahead for the next year. I mean, so there's there's a lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, uh, you know, threat actors are, you know, looking forward to the holiday season, which historically has been one of the the, the bigger, uh, you know, threat opportunities, right? So we got lots right. of holiday online sales and uh, just makes it that much easier for uh, cyber criminals to take advantage of what's going on, right? Trick people. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, I, I got to thinking about something and uh, I wanted to make sure, I guess, before we jump into more more of what uh, we want to talk about, I, I, I just want to make sure everybody's aware that um, we have a, a special um, member benefit and it's for all everything MSP members um, with ID Agent. And, um, and I, I, I appreciate and I just want to thank you for um, extending it out to our group. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I will put the the link to that down in the, the comments of this video. So uh, anybody that doesn't have it, it will be in the comments of the video. Perfect. And, um, you, know, you know, of course, anytime there's an opportunity to save some money um, while, you know, leveraging something that you can drive new MRR, you know, the, that's awesome. It, it just uh, it ends up being a, a good solid win there. And um, so we're gonna we'll we'll talk more about that, and again, the link that you'll be putting in will have all those details. Um, but let's take a look at what's happening today. Um, you know, I guess you know I hate to to use the uh, the problem child as a is a, a, a I guess terminology for what's happening in um, business environments, but there are problem childs, right? I mean, it comes down to end users that just click here, click there. And um, uh, those type of actions, that type of behavior is uh, a critical thing for that business and it impacts them greatly, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, none of us, and especially MSPs, can control everybody all the time, right? Especially when it comes to end users and extra, especially now in uh, when we're still kind of working remotely or in a hybrid and those transitional, uh, it, it's, you know, decentralized IT environments where, right, security definitely is not what it normally is pre-pandemic. Right. Yeah. And um, I mean, one, one thing that's happening and has been happening um, is uh, there's, there's a lot of attention um, about, um, you know, the type of threats that are out there. Um, and uh, so that actually is helping us um, because when we're having those conversations with our clients um, and prospective clients, you know, they're already, they're, they're familiar with the terminology. They're familiar with the um, conversation. And it's, it's something that if, if they're not asking for it yet, um, if you address it, they're going to be ready to, um, uh, to be engaged in that conversation, most most are going to be ready for that, just because you know they're they're hear, hearing a lot about it and they they aren't sure what to do. So when you bring it up, that you know it just opens the door for those conversations. Um, so with ID Agent, um, I mean ID Agent has uh, started ultimately as you know dark web monitoring, and um, uh, you guys are more than what that is. You know what you started as. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think at the time when we first came out into the channel, we uh, what made us so different and unique is because we brought a tool to the MSP market that made it easier to have that conversation around risk, right? 
I came from an MSP. Uh, we were struggling with that, as many other MSPs were. Um, and just having that conversation and then getting the customer, frankly, to care, uh, because we just it was coming from a logical place where we needed to get them an emotional place. So, you know, right. fast forward to now, uh, lots of MSP partners we've had have had lots of success with the dark web monitoring, but you are absolutely right. We are not just dark web monitoring anymore. We, um, I'd say about two years ago, we we knew that we needed to kind of be able to offer that, the what's next step. Okay, so you're monitoring my credentials, you're letting me know when there's passwords and PII out there, but then what's next? Like, how do we, how do we mitigate that risk on an ongoing basis? Well, security awareness training, phishing simulation is, you know, you got to fortify, at least for the most part, try, <laughs> you know, the, the human right. body, because as we all know, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be the human element, um, which they, yeah. you know, the, the greatest assets or the greatest risk. So, <laughs> um, you know, uh, now what we have done is with the Bullfish ID product, right, which started off as kind of like, oh, you know, here's something that might be a good idea. And now we have completely <laughs> uh, built it out and enhanced it and, and made it so it can literally stand on its own as its own product. But we, you know, we include it for our MSP partners because it is part of that natural progression of the security conversation, right? And it also right. um, creates, you know, uh, it makes that relationship more sticky uh, on many different levels, right? You're you're providing uh, ongoing risk mitigation and management, and and with today's landscape and compliance mandates and those customers that aren't like already asking their their MSPs about you know security right they know they need it yeah um, uh, they're they're also coming to their MSP and saying okay so I have this questionnaire <laughs> right that that like <laughs> like cyber liability insurance and right. uh, yeah. pages long and it includes you know uh, ransomware stipulations um, and here you go so what are we doing for that <laughs> right exactly. Um, and you know, security awareness training is is one of the the best, um, and it's also you know a, a, a easy maybe not easy but it um, makes sense for the MSP. Uh, it's it's an offering that that they have the right tool. Uh, shameless plug in just a moment. Three, two, one. <laughs> like ID, <IDH, laughs> you know, and simple and. Uh, you can drop a customer in, but if it makes it easier to offer that solution and it's going to boost MRR for you, right? So it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, when we have employees, um, you know, you mentioned they can be an asset or a liability. And um, so, you know, here we hand over a laptop to them and uh, that laptop, you know, depending on how it's configured and um, in what type of training that we've provided to that employee um, could be a, a very, very serious liability just because people like to be click happy and they click here, click there. And let's face it, you know, the threats, they've become so sophisticated that when you look at it, you, you know, it's, it's not always easy to tell, but there are signs that you can look for and, you know, once people start to learn that, there's that light bulb that goes off that they're like, okay, now I know what to look for. And, and it, it, be kind, it becomes kind of a, um, almost like a game for them. So when, as emails come in that might look, uh, you know, just potential or um, suspect, then they, they're like, all right, I'm going to look for all these different ways that, you know, whether this is legit or not. Um, and so that's where the security awareness training uh, comes into play, right? And, and also, um, can you talk a little bit more about any kind of testing that you can do um, to ensure that people are getting it and, you know, and complying? Yeah, so obviously, you know, being able to track uh, and get full reporting on the function of the tool. So, uh, for the security awareness training component of the Bullfish ID, it's going to give you that full metrics reporting. So you can run a campaign. Um, and again, one of the things that I love about it, and I know our partners do, is you can set up 
for both the security awareness training and the phishing simulation, you can set it up, you could schedule campaigns out for the entire year at whatever cadence you want. You want it to be once a month, you want it to be twice a month, which seems to be kind of the best practice for right now. Uh, we'll probably right. increase, but you know, uh, twice a month security awareness training campaign. They're not long, they're, they're you know, six, seven minutes, so it's bite size. Uh, we all have the attention spans of goldfish now. I think that's the latest determination of the think tank uh, uh, scientists. But, you know, <laughs> spread out for the entire year so it runs automatically. And then you get the full metrics reporting on that. So, you know, Mary in um, accounts payable, she's been sent a security awareness training on um, identifying, uh, you know, CEO scams, right? So she doesn't. Yeah. An email about, hey, Mary, I need you to go and buy 150, uh, you know, Apple gift cards or whatever, pick one. Uh, um, right. Right. And then it'll send, it'll send her and it'll let the MSP know, hey, she hasn't taken it or she took it, but she didn't pass it or she took it and she passed it. Right. Awesome. That's great. You can report that back to uh, the customer, to the client. Right. And part of these, um, you know, the, with these compliance mandates as Carton have already been established is, you know, uh, not only do you have to demonstrate due diligence for, you know, protecting your data, but you also have to demonstrate due diligence, be able to prove that you are training your people, right? Same thing for your clients. Yeah. Um, so uh, same thing with the security awareness training, right? And you mentioned earlier, like the problem child. Uh, and I just kind of want to uh, speak to that. And yes, as MSPs, we, we all have those uh, customers who are problem child, right? And then also the problem child within the customer's organization, right? For whatever reason, it's right. the CEO's son and, or, you know, whatever it is. But uh, it's not so much about like, um, uh, like shame culture, right? Like pointing out, right. uh, isolating, right? This is the person, no, 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 that you keep doing bad things. But really, if you're talking to the business owner, right? You do want to isolate. These are your bigger risks, right? Like if you were to walk out the front door of your office, yeah, you locked the front door, but you left the window wide open. That's a big risk. It's still a <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, let's train your people to shut the window, lock it along with the Yeah. Door. Yeah, exactly. That That's, um, that's a great analogy. And uh, um, I, I, I guess one thought that comes to mind is so anytime that an MSP adds new product or service to their stack, um, it, it takes, you know, it takes some additional work. You just don't say, all right, we're going to start offering the service. There's additional work that needs to be done from a marketing perspective, an operational perspective, um, you know, setting everything up and having the tools. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you have that, allows an MSP to jump into offering this um, new service and the ability for them to just hit the ground running from day one. Absolutely, great segue. So one of the things that ID Agent has, uh, you know, when, when we first came to the channel and we, we realized that, look, we've got a lot of MSP partners who aren't great at sales and marketing. <laughs> Um, so, but we have, uh, you know, an entire team of people that came that we plucked from the MSP space, like yours truly. Uh, and, and so we put together um, our powered services. At the time, it was Gold Assist team. We've since morphed into adding, you know, content and assets, an entire platform that you get access to. So the bottom line is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We have, we have made it, uh, you know, uh, 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 one, two, three, paint by numbers, about as easy as it can get to be able to, to hit the ground running. Um, and, and there are MSPs who are um, better at that process than others. Either way is great. If you just need some marketing uh, and sales content assets, we got that ad nauseum. But if you need maybe a little bit more guidance, how am I gonna price this? What is the messaging that I'm going to uh, use when I'm taking this, talking to my current customers? What about when I'm, I'm doing my prospecting efforts? How am I going to leverage my community partnerships to strengthen the bonds that I have with my community and get right. my needs out of it, right? Uh, like, so if you need foundational, let's talk about, you know, your business, what are your goals? Literally, like, design your go-to-market strategy with you 
based on your business, your culture, your people, what do you have, your bandwidth, what you want to sell, who you want to target, the industries, your, your, you know, the, your customer stories you already have experience with. We will work with you to design that. That's awesome. I mean, because, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, if we, if we go into any client, um, whether it be a QBR, if we're talking about meeting with a prospect, if we jump right into technology, um, it, it's going to, it's going to push them away. Right. I mean, because, uh, you know, deer in headlight, we all know that that scenario, they, they don't necessarily care about the actual technology. They care about their business. And the more we can put an emphasis on, you know, talking about their business, what are their goals and objectives, where are their challenges? Um, that is the, the true value. And that's a, a huge differentiator, um, of us as an MSP, you know, so, uh, that, that's that's awesome. Now, so this is all awesome. We're talking about it, but I, I think most MSPs like myself, you want to touch and feel. You want to see this. You want to you want to see a demo. So, um, is that something that you can do for any MSP that um, has interest in in ID agent? Absolutely, absolutely. If you are if you're interested in uh, taking a look, sitting down for uh, scheduling a demo, you know we absolutely would love to do that for you. And as a matter of fact, um, for your, the Everything MSP Facebook group members who aren't an ID agent customer that want to do a demo, schedule a demo with us. We're going to buy you lunch, right? So uh, yeah. wait a minute, Did you yeah. say food? Yes, food. <laughs> food. So you you just captured my attention there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, we're we're offering. Um, I think it's an Uber Eats gift card. Whatever uh, the, 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 the twenty dollar Uber Eats. I was just look. I just pulled up the link that um, that we'll put a make available for everybody. So um, comments so, well. I'm sorry. Put that in the comments as well. This video. There we go. And. Because it looks like, um, so in addition to the demo, get the $20 Uber Eats gift card, um, but also a free dark web scan. Um, so if you could just give me a quick uh, overview of that. Yeah, so uh, one of the things, again, that makes ID Agent so powerful is that uh, the compromise scan, the compromise credentials report, right? Uh, and, and again, what really allowed us to make such a big splash and impact in the channel. Uh, with our partners, as far as they're they're selling, you know, their MSP security services, uh, is this uh, the ability to run an on-the-spot dark web compromise report? So when you schedule the demo uh, and and get your your lunch on us, uh, you can opt to run your own domain name, maybe a customer's domain name, right? But you will get a dark web scan um, and. Yes. Best practices is is probably to run your own first. <laughs> Just yeah, because it really well, is powerful, and it will get you when you see uh, a password. Yeah, it, it. I'm sure that you know when you do these, um, you know, looking at the reaction on the person's face is probably amazing. You know, just that body language of, wait a minute, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish that uh, I had, <laughs> so I spent a lot of time on planes going to events, and I can't tell you how many times if I would have had access to internet, man, like, I would have been, like, shocking and awing people all day long. <laughs> They're like, no. Exactly. You're on the plane, and you're, you're saying, hey, what's your domain? Uh, let, me, let me tell you something about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Uh, that is very cool. We've got partners that have been, you know, closing deals on planes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not special by any means. <laughs> that is awesome. So uh, I, I really appreciate you taking some time and in, in, uh, chatting with me because I think uh, we are at a point in time where we all know security um, threats are, are growing um, at an unbelievable rate. And um, if we don't offer solutions, if we don't offer those additional layers, um, you know, I like to say, if you um, have a single pane of glass and you know you have a bullet, it's going to go through that. It's going to um, it's going to penetrate right through it. If you have thicker glass and you have multiple layers or multiple panes, I should say, 
um, the likelihood of that bullet going through is it's a lot less likely, right? Just because of all the additional uh, layers that you have. So when you look at your overall security stack, um, you need to make sure that you have additional layers to protect uh, clients. And um, and this is where it comes into play. So this is, a, this is great. Um, in addition to the special pricing offer for everything MSP members, um, this is pretty cool that you're offering the free demo with the Uber Eats and uh, the free dark web scan. So be sure to uh, click on the link uh, for this, sign up, and um, and then someone will follow up with you. Um, if I'm correct, right? Someone will follow up and uh, and get that scheduled. Yep. Let us buy you lunch. Nice. Yep. Well, no, wanna... again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you uh, have a great night, and everybody out there, uh, I look forward to talking with you soon. And yep. we'll yep. talk. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See ya. Bam.